growth mindset is it's really it's about what we can become. We're not limiting ourselves. It's what we can accomplish. Growth mindset, you know, in, in life and in school is about thinking about the possibilities and not about the limitations. We have eight classes of grade sixes here at Cosburn. All classes collaborated together on a growth mindset stairway mural. Their task was to think about what growth mindset was and then to think about ways that they could visually demonstrate what growth mindset is. So essentially, uh, I was asked to work with this theme and this subject matter and have the kids understand what that difference is with a fixed mindset versus an open mind. When you're doing growth mindset, you're willing to stick with it. Even though you've got problems or it's not quite working out, you find another route. What's another way of approaching the problem? Or the perseverance to stick with a task long enough to see that you can actually complete it. It's taking a risk. It's going beyond the fear. You're greater than your fear. Every problem has a solution. But there are multiple steps to get Here is a door, um, which kind of is like representing a door to like new possibilities. We're doing one soccer player who doesn't have very good form and he misses the net. Then there's the, and that's the fixed mindset, the growth mindset is when the guy has good form and he can actually get it into the net. The guy with the growth mindset has a light bulb in his head and the guy with the fixed mindset has a lock in his head. We drew the earth kind of as a person. Inside the brain, there's the growth mindset thoughts, and then outside are the fixed mindset thoughts trying to get into the brain. The water represents how much, how much confidence you have in yourself, and the amount, and then the amount of confidence you have grows a tree, so it makes sort of like grows your mind. This guy, his first, um, he always gets air, air balls, and that he practices a lot. And that's after he trained, he just like switches. So basically there's going to be a girl over here and she's going to climb the mountain. And it's basically like her trying to achieve her life goals, um, getting to the top of the mountain. We also had eight classes in grade eight. So those 230 kids together, they were also given a task of growth mindset, but for them, it was about their own futures. It was a great opportunity for these kids to do something that is of themselves. They really had to think about their future. What did they envision themselves doing? How did they see uh, what their future life would be like? And that encompasses all the challenges that you're going to face, even in your life today, but all the things that you're going to grow into in terms of all the responsibilities you're going to take on and your adulthood, how are you going to face that? If you can start that conversation now, that actually gives you some way to start mapping even a little bit of that out. You never know, a tiny thread of something starts to blossom into something else. It really puts them in the driver's seat as an artist. The types of accomplishments were to take a cue from somebody like Malala that made it, that had an impact on the world. Doing something beautiful for society or musically or maybe it's about uniting people. So they saw themselves as being doctors and lawyers or they wanted to be geneticists. One wanted to be a poet. The arts, you know, is another way to communicate and there are some students that we know that love to communicate through the arts. We want to provide opportunities for all students to be able to communicate as clearly and as eloquently as they would like to be able to do. This has such broad implications in terms of who they see themselves being and what that memory then in turn means and then a platform in which they can stand on to now test, measure and experience and experiment the next brave thing 
they need to, or have the courage to take a risk. And that's really what this is about. It's almost like a drop in the pond. The ripples of this will just keep on going. I feel like most of the time, I often have a fixed mindset myself when I think about it. But then afterwards, when I learn about this and I learn that it's normal and that it's something that we all go through, it's gonna be a little bit easier for me to maybe cope with some of this. Like I'll think, oh wait, I'm, if I work harder, like practice makes perfect, like if I'm not, if I'm struggling with something, I'm like, okay, this is normal. If I'm not very good at math, I can keep working at it, and it's not that I'm just not good at it. If I keep trying harder, and if I keep studying, and if I really work hard, like if I really want to accomplish something, it's not like, it makes you believe in yourself. I, I think it's really interesting of how capable we are of doing this. At first I was like, okay, I, I'm not sure if this will look very good, but then I saw the end result and it's amazing. That it's amazing that we made our mark, like our own mark in the school in a sort of way, because it's your original idea and nobody else has it. It was kind of amazing to look at how I was thinking, like, there's no way what I have is like, it's not anything. And then when you think about it, you're like, oh, I can change this, I can alter this a little bit, and then before you know it, it's on the wall, and you're like, oh my gosh, I made that. The video will be there for a couple of generations of students, and they'll get to see our artwork, and that is a really proud moment for me.